Hello, 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 how's it going? It's Nathan here with World Masters. So we're back to another product review and today we got something very special. Yes, it's not a world vacuum. As you can see in this box, this is actually a cordless stick vacuum. A lot of people like cordless stick vacuums because of their versatility. They have a lot of attachments. And with this guy, you get like the mini motorized head, great for the cars or for small areas. Also, there's a long extendable wand, which allows you to get behind the kitchens, behind the couches, and you get underneath the couches. Also, there's a flexible head, and you got a crevice tool. So, there's a lot of great attachments to the Dreamy Tech T20. Also, this guy has an LCD display, has 25,000 pascals of suction, and the motor itself spins at 125,000 RPMs. That's craziness. And guess what, guys? On his low power set, you can get up to 7 minutes of suction. Wow, that's pretty long battery life for the Dreamy Tech T20. And as a disclaimer, I did get this product for free in exchange for review, so I just want to put that out there. Alright, let's go ahead and check out the Dreamy Tech T20. First, let's check out the specs. So for the Dreamy Tech T20, it looks like it has an all-in-one display. Great for checking out on your battery life in real time. Also, you can check the power level. And this guy has up to 7 minutes of runtime. That's pretty long for a stick vacuum. I presume that's on its low suction only mode. Now if you attach the motorized heads, it usually will drain the battery quicker. And this guy offers up to 25,000 pascals of suction, and it's designed for carpet, hardwood floors, and for the car. So yes, uh, it has attachable uh, heads, and it also has different attachments for different uh, use scenarios. So that's great that these guys are very versatile. Alright, let's go and look at the pictures here. So it does include uh, these types of tools. You got the mini motorized head, you got the little, uh, I guess what do they call it, the uh, brush. And you also have the crevice tool and have a flexible hose. And this is the mounting uh, tool. I did have the original Dreamy uh, D10 and I really like that mounting system. It was really easy to attach the tools and to charge the uh, stick vacuum. And this is the stick vacuum itself. So you can see you can do it as a regular floor vacuum or you can use it as a mini vacuum for the car. Alright, let's go ahead and strike over. There's some of the specs there. And it has up to 150 AW of suction. I presume that's watts. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, move over. We got the anti tangle brush, the V shaped comb, and we also have a wider diameter design. We'll see how well it does with the pet hair. Also, there's that on one HD display. It tells me the working time, also, it gives you a system error. So, if you have any issues, that's nice. You can see that directly on the display. And it lets you know if you need to change out the filters and the section mode. Very, very nice. Okay, let's keep on moving here. This is some of the features. It looks like we've got the rear position air friction, also a shorter wind tunnel, and a smart cool bag technology. And this is just some of the cases they've been using the Dreamy Tech T20 in. Okay, let's go and uh, jump down here and check out the specs. So, yes, it has a 4.0 motor, can operate up to 125,000. RPM also has 26 uh, patents for the high speed motor. Very, very cool. So, yes, there's a lot of great specs out here, and they're just talking about the stick vacuum. So, feel free to pause the video and read all this if you would like. Okay, let's go now scroll down. And it just kind of gives you some more use case scenarios and some of those pictures we just looked at. So, I'm really uh, excited. And one thing that the Dreamy D10 did have is a swappable battery, but it looks like this guy does have a swappable battery now. So, I'm very excited about. Uh, having that feature. And it looks like it has a mite removal brush. Um, basically, it can pick up 99.9% .9 of the mites. Uh, do you guys know what mites are? I actually don't know. Uh, okay, there you go. That's to show the picture. Maybe it's like bacteria or something. So it has an electronic lack trigger, which I really like the fact that you don't have to keep holding down the trigger. Alright, so uh, you can use the crevice tool, and it looks like it's very easy to empty out the dustbin. And it has a 0.6 liter dustbin, so it's very large. And there's that V-shaped all-surface brush. And we've got 8 stage noise reduction. So we'll see how loud the T20 is. And I, there's the wall mount setup here. Uh, I really like the mounting system because it allows you to mount all the uh, accessories. You don't have to leave any out. And there's that wall mount design. It looks like we can uh, hold a spare battery. So very, very cool. But keep in mind, in this package, you only get one rechargeable battery. Hopefully, you can buy some additional ones if you like. And then this is just some of the specs here. The weight itself is 13.97 pounds. Very, very cool. Okay, let's go and get this guy unboxed and we'll see how well the T20 does and I'll give you my thoughts on it. Let's go. Very cool box. Uh, I really like the design of it. It has like a black background and it kind of shows you the product there. And I like the wording, cordless vacuum cleaner T20. Give you guys a quick spin around here. Very cool, nice, nice. And there's some legal information. And some don't drop it, keep it up this way, blah blah stuff. Alright, let's go and uh, get this little uh, tape opened up and we'll open up the flappy lid here. Whoa, this is craziness. I have it backwards. Let me change it around. 
So this is pretty cool. You got your uh, large extendable wand. You got a brown box over here, another brown box and some instructions. Let's check out the instructions here. So this is like the mount instructions. Very, very cool. So it actually tells you like where to uh, drill in the screw. So nice. Uh, I found that the mounting on the previous one was pretty easy, but this is a nice little helpful guide. And here's what not to do, and here's what to do. Very, very cool. I usually the type of person that does this, so don't listen to me. Get out of here, not what not to do instructions. Alright, so here's the wand. Ooh, so cool. Wow, that is sweet. Look at that, guys. I can see you guys. Can you see me? Ooh. Yeah, craziness. Alright, let's go and uh, check out this guy. So here's the main brush head. Very, very cool. Sweet. Ah. Alright, so it looks like this is the mini brush head. Very, very nice. It looks the exact same as on a D10. Packaging stuff. Yeah, yeah, packaging. So here's the mounting bracket. Oh, it goes like this. So very nice. So you can actually put the long extendable wand down here. This is where your uh, stick backing goes. And then you can add the additional attachments. And it does look like we can add additional battery up top here. So it kind of just swaps over. Yep, we charge an additional battery. So very, very cool. So it looks like they would charge two batteries simultaneously. Sweet. Okay, so we got some more accessories here. So it looks like this is our flexible wand. Cool. Ooh, it's like a flappy something. Cool. Sweet. Uh, where's my other tool? Did I use already? Oh yeah, it's over here. Alright, so here's our crevice tool. Alright, so that's everything over on that side. Let's go and check out this side. So now we're getting to the good part, the actual uh, stick back and motor part. Wow, this is a really cool design. Uh, I really like the sleek, uh, what is this, gunmetal design or metallic silver. Uh, Alright, so one nice thing is this thing does have a hot sample battery. That's a really nice feature if you want to have continuous run time. Just press this little uh, button here and it should just slot down. Very, very nice. So this battery is at 25.2 volts, 70.56 watt hours. So this is very large and it's at 3000 milliamp hours and it's rated capacity is 2800 milliamp hours. Cool. And it just slots right back in here. Okay, so this is the, uh, the LCD display. Looks like uh, what mode we're on. Let's go and uh, switch. We're on Eco. We can go to Medium. And we also have Max. And it looks like it gives us uh, the run times right here. Kind of like in a little bar style. And we can also lock the trigger right up here. Very, very nice. Again, this guy also gives you filter information. So when you need to change out the filter, it will let you on the display. And if you have any issues, it will tell you on this little display too. So very, very nice. So I like the fact that they actually included a full LCD display. Uh, usually you only find these on like high-end stick vacuums that cost $500 or more. Sweet. So here's the design, very nice. And it looks like we have a bottom loading uh, dustbin here. Just kind of press this button right here and it flops down. I found this system is pretty easy to use. I did this on a D10 and I really like the design of this. And there's the inlet there. Cool, let's go and uh, see how this guy does. Alright, that's it for the box. Get out of the box. I need to sit down. Okay, so we got a couple more things. So this is our like our brush tool and it is extendable by pressing this button. Cool. I can do my hair. Sweet. Yep, I look beautiful. Okay, let's go ahead and check out the power adapter here. Very nice little brick. 
Uh, one thing you can't do is actually wrap around. I have seen some powered bricks actually have like a little uh, tail management system, but this doesn't have it. Okay, so it looks like this guy does support the 100 and 240 volts. So let's just get your crack plumbing adapter and you should be good to go overseas. Sweet. Well, this crazy news, I have a pile of uh, stick vacuum. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get this uh, charged up and we'll see how well the Dreamy Tech T1020 does. Alright, so I took the T20 to different parts of the house where there's a lot of accumulation of dirt behind the fridge, in the crevices of the doorway, all that fun jazz. The wife definitely appreciate that because this is the first time I actually cleaned up my house. So the Dreamy T20 did a good job of picking up a variety of debris. Also, the variety of attachments made clean up very easily. So I tried to build his head on a smooth surface, and for larger chunks like the Skittles, the gummy bears, and also the plastic beads, the motorized head kind of pushed it around. Unfortunately, the head sits pretty low to the ground, so you do have to use a different type of attachment. This is where the motorized head is designed for, for that powder and uh, light dust and debris, so it did 100% on this challenge. Okay, so I took the same challenge and put on my medium profile carpet. This is some powder, plastic beads, and skittles. So for the power challenge, it's on its max power mode at 25,000 pascals. And it looks like it did 80% on its uh, two runs there. Now if I keep going over it, after about 5 or 6 passes, it picked up everything. For the plastic bead challenge, it actually did a really good job. Picked up everything off its first pass. Now this is where the stick vacuum kind of struggled with the large bits and debris. So even though it picked up a fair amount of the skills, it still kind of pushed some of the skills away. So for like the larger chunks, I do recommend switching out the motorized head to like the suction only tool, like the crevice tool or the brush tool. So emptying out the canister is as easy as pressing a single button and it just drops from the bottom there. Now the only downside is you can't physically remove the canister, you do have to take the entire vacuum with you to empty it. Well luckily I got a couple of uh, vacuums laying around so they can clean up this mess after I'm done filming. So here's my uh, lot of dirt and debris challenge. Uh, I felt like the stick vacuum did a pretty good job picking up most of the dirt and debris. The only downside is this canister is quite small, so it does fill up rather quickly. So if you have a big mess like this, I do recommend maybe getting a regular upright vacuum with a large canister because you do have to empty out quite often. So here's my thoughts about the T20. I really like the design, especially that color display. It gives you a lot of permanent information about the battery life and also your filter life. Also, I like the fact that it has hot swappable batteries and you can charge up to two batteries at once. I like the fact that Dreamy Tech provided two motorized heads, a small one and a large one, to add versatility. But the downside to these motorized heads is if you're trying to pick up large bits and pieces, you do have to switch out to like a section only tool. The T20 is great for going around those areas where your large stick vacuum, where your roll up vacuum can't reach. You go around those areas, pick up those small messes, you should be good to go, and you should make everyone in the family very happy. Alright, let's go and wrap up this video, I'll give you my final thoughts. So I like the T20's color display, it gives you a lot of permanent information about battery life. Also, you can change out the filter reminder, and you can change the language. So if you speak a different language other than English, uh, that's an option there. I do like the fact that the stick vacuum has a lot of variety of attachments, the motorized heads, also you get the crevice tool, you get the main brush, and it has a long extendable wand. I think the base downside is the motorized head can't pick up large dirt and debris on both hardwood floors and carpeting. 
Also, when you use the motorized heads on its max power mode, you only get about six minutes of runtime. So that's just something to consider. Uh, if you want to extend runtime, I do recommend auto kind of alternates between different power levels. Well, I hope you like this type of video. If you do, please give me a big old thumbs up. And you guys have a great rest of the day. I'll see you guys next time. And if you're interested in the Dreamy Tech T20, I will provide a link down in the description. Also, if you have any questions about the stick vacuum, please feel free to reach out to me. I'll be more than happy to answer any questions. All right, catch you later.